Hello and welcome to lesson number three of learning HTML. Today's lesson we're going to be going over the image and how to include the images and attributes to use in the image tag. So let's jump into this tutorial. Okay so the first thing you'll notice in this tutorial is that we have a new folder named images in our directory. Now this is just the HTML image which is the thumbnail which I'm going to be using for this tutorial once I'm done and I'm just going to be including this onto the web page. So if we head back into index.html in Dream of a CS6, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the headings apart from heading 1, as I just want a heading on my document. Then I'm just going to apply a HTML comment once again, telling us that we're going to be including the image. Now how we include an image, or tell HTML we're including an image, is we just open the image tag like so. Then we need to give it the image source, so we type in SRC, standing for source, and then we browse for our image. Now Dreamweaver lets us browse it like so, but if you're in any other text editor you might have to type it in manually. Um, but you can see that it's just within the images folder and then the image name .jpg or whatever file extension you have. Now people might think that you close the image tags off just like normal tags and you just close the triangle bracket here and then you do like we've been doing for HTML body and so on, like that. But you don't do it like that. What you do is you just actually leave it how it is, but just apply a forward slash at the end, like so. And that's telling you that you've ended that image. So if we save this and refresh our browser to see what we have, you can see that we have this huge learn HTML image. So now we're going to be applying some attributes within here to maybe edit the image a little bit. And the first one we're going to do is add a title. Now I'm going to give this the title of thumbnail, and what this does is, if we refresh and hover over it, you can see that we ha now have a little description of thumbnail. Now the next thing we're going to add is maybe a border. Now a border will do exactly what it says and apply a border. So let's apply a border of 6 pixels. Then let's refresh, and you can see that this black border around the edge of 6 pixels has been added. Okay, so now I'll say that you want to modify the height and width. What you can do is set the width to 300 and then the height to anything you want. But the problem with this is like if we look, you can actually make the image a lot s stretched than what it should be. See? Now how we keep the same proportions is how you, is you would just get rid of one of the height and width de defining options and then it will sort itself out like so. So that's kept into the same proportion. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to add is the alt tag. Now the alt tag is quite important and it validates the image. Basically, if the image does not exist for some reason, then it's going to display a piece of text telling you what should be there. So if we just put thumbnail here again, what you'll see is if we refresh that nothing has actually changed. But if we get rid of this image or move the image to another directory, so let's just put some numbers on the end of here, you can see that we have the text of thumbnail behind it. Now you're thinking, well that might be the title, so let's change the alt tag to thumbnail image here, something like that, and refresh, and you can see that this little description tells what the image should be there, if the image is missing. So let's change that back, and refresh, and you can see that's how we include images onto our HTML document. Now in the next lesson we're going to be going over how to create paragraph tags and inserting paragraphs of text to our document. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and goodbye.